Hey everybody, welcome to my video. Today we're going to be uh, checking out how to fix Windows Update on uh, Windows 7. And the problem is when you hit check for updates, you don't have, it just keeps hanging, keeps says checking for updates, checking for updates, but nothing ever happens. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. So, uh, I'm going to show you what to do. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is change your settings. What we're going to do is tell it to never check for updates. And we're going to tell it, okay. Tell it to never check for updates. Tell it, okay. And then we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so next we're going to go into the Windows Task Manager. Now to get into that, right? Press Control Alt Delete. Choose Windows Task Manager at the bottom of the menu, and you'll be brought bring to this window. We're going to sort by name, and then you'll see Windows Update here. So we're just going to right-click that, and press Stop Service. take a few seconds see if your uh, Windows updates not working that'll go away real fast if it's working it'll take like 15 seconds okay so now that that's stopped we're gonna move on to the next step okay so the next step is we're gonna uh, find the uh, Windows up Microsoft Update Catalog. So what I did was just typed in Windows Update Site and up came Windows Update Microsoft Update Catalog. You're going to click on that. It's going to take you to this site. It might ask you to uh, install an add-on. Do that and then we're going to search for two add-ons that are going to make a difference. Okay, so here we are in the Microsoft Update Catalog, and we have two uh, two updates we're going to download. The first is 302 I'm going to search for that. And it's going to bring up this window. So, you, so depending on what system you're using, Windows 7 32-bit or 64-bit, or Windows Server 8 2008, same thing. Pick the uh, type for your computer. In my case, I'm still using 32-bit, so I'm going to add that. And next, we're going to search for another one. So, what this does is when you add, you have to add two updates to be able to download it. So we're going to add another one, and this isn't the critical one now. So make sure you do both of these. Three, one, seven, two, six, zero, five. Search that, and you can see I'm going to get the one for 32-bit, which is the bottom one. I'm going to add that to my basket. Okay, now I can view my basket. And I could download my uh, file. Now you're going to tell it where you want to want to download it to. So we're going to tell it where to download. I'm going to pick a, a folder that I made just for this purpose on my desktop. Tell it OK. Come down here. Tell it to continue. And you'll download these two files. Okay. So once they're downloaded, we'll close this. And Let's get to uh, installing those two files. Okay, so we got our uh, two files downloaded, see? 
So we're going to go with the uh, lower number one, the 302. We're going to install that first. Just click on it. Tell it to open. Let's give it a minute. Okay, so <clears throat> we now have this is the message we get. And we're going to tell it yes. Now, we want to uh, restart the computer after the first if they're installing the first update and now we're going to install the second update make sure you restart your computer okay now we're going to start this update it's open now we're going to go back into the search for update cycle and I'm going to pause this till it comes back. It should take a couple minutes. Feel free to walk away and come back while it does this. Okay, uh, after that second file installs, it's time to restart your computer for updates to take effect. And then we'll be right back to see if it worked. Okay, we're back. And now it's time to see if our two updates actually worked so what we're going to do is you can see now we can see that it says never and never no matter what happened before it's going to say that so now we're going to hit check for updates we're still going to leave the settings on never check for updates because we want to do that manually by ourselves so we're going to go check for updates ourselves so now this will take probably five minutes maybe 10 depending on how many updates you're missing so I'll uh, pause this video and come right back when the list if the list finally pops up which I hope it does okay <clears throat> now this took approximately five minutes to find these updates but it, you can see it worked I got 133 important updates available and three optional updates that would be like for uh, Microsoft Office or something like that but we want to uh, select updates that we want to use so we don't want to just install all the updates willy-nilly so we're going to pause here so my recommendation is for you to uh, install some of these updates but not all of them at once so what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck a bunch of these especially the ones that are like 45 megabytes 86 megabytes we're going to uncheck those we want to install the earlier ones first Now remember I have 133 to do. I don't want to do all those at once. No way. But remember this too. After every time you do updates you have to go through the check updates process again even though all these are already listed here. It'll check for updates again and again. So maybe we want to do about half of these. 